Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, now you know. We start each video with chapstick. This here is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Thank you for visiting me today and spending some time with me today. The Crazy and the Crazy Troll Nation is just enjoying our channel, enjoying our makeup, enjoying whatever it is that we do. And the troll part is not caring too much what the beauty community standards of beauty are. Knowing that we are beautiful inside and out. We love playing in face paint, we love to enhance our features, but here it is more so about embracing your natural features, not feeling like you have to use a certain brand or a certain tool or do things a certain way because somebody else said so. Here it's just do what you do and just rock it. Whatever brand, whatever tool, whatever you want to do, whatever placement you want to do, that's what you do. At the end of the day, when everything washes off, I want you to love yourself for who you are and for how you look. I do curse on my channel sometimes. I'm still getting used to saying that. Here's what else you'll see here. I was hesitant to do this look because it's really serious to me. This look is for Pride Month, as you can tell from the title. And I didn't just want to slap something on and be like, hey, I did all the colors. I wanted it to look decent. I do believe that the flag does represent an entire population of people and I wanted to be respectful of that and today is June 27th and it's taken me all month to even decide to really do this look because I was just uncertain I didn't want to appear to do like a parody or to not take it seriously um, because these are people we're talking about here right and so I looked up the flag initially there was six colors the classic I'm looking at notes here the classic rainbow flag from 1977 red symbolized life orange healing yellow sunlight green nature blue harmony or calmness or serenity and purple represented spirit in 1978 Gilbert Baker the flag changed to eight shades hot pink sexuality red life orange healing yellow sunlight green nature turquoise magic blue serenity or harmony or calmness and violet being spirit so those are what the colors represented and i did google and look up because i saw a lot of looks and i am familiar with what the pride flag looks like but i wasn't aware of what all the different colors represented and so i wanted to let you guys know that in this video if you didn't know and also there's a progression of rainbow flags over the years um, so that's the classic flag the colors that i just talked about there's also a transgender flag that came out in 1999, a bisexual flag, pansexual flag, lesbian flag, gender non-binary flag, agender flag, asexual flag, a demisexual flag, gender queer flag, gender fluid flag, intersect flag, which came out in 2013, a romantic flag, a romantic one word, not a romantic, a romantic flag and also a polyamory flag. So I was just like, whew, like I, I was not aware of all the different flags. And so that made it even more important to me to just do justice to the look as much as possible with my skill set and being a troll. And so that's why it took me so long to do this. And so I am doing it today. I'm gonna tell you now, I hope it's not disorienting to you. I hope it's not annoying or irritating to you. I am going to chop the hell up. <laughs> this video because of the different shades where I'm going to place them and I am going to be in and out of two different palettes for the first time I shopped my Macari store because I'm still technically on a no buy <laughs> so but anyway we're going to use the Ace Beauté nostalgia palette this is what we're going to use because I realized I didn't have a rainbow palette and because I don't really gear towards the lighter tones <laughs> And some bright tones don't really show up on me well. And so, but I said, you know what? If I'm going to do this look, I really need to find these shades. And so this is the Nostalgia palette. And we're also going to pull out of the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette. And I will hold up and say this is what the shade is as I am using it. And we'll just go from there. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to prime our eye with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. As usual, my brows are done. As you can tell, they're wide again. The tells are way over here again. Um, concealer on, which you may or may not be able to tell. Like my under eyes are just wanting to just stay dark regardless. And I don't want to cake on stuff. 
um, foundation MAC what is it the MAC Studio Fix plus powder foundation and that's all that's on my face and I did put eye cream on underneath my eyes in addition to my regular skincare before I put on the concealer so that is everything on my face today and you saw me apply the chapstick I'm going to blend this out as usual with an angled eyeshadow brush concealer brush excuse me and I'm going to edit this part out so for right now we're going to put underneath our lower lash line this is NYX retractable eyeliner and this shade is gold so this is going underneath we are going to put a lot of different colors under here but for now we're going to put this here and this will serve as a base for those shadows and hopefully they will show up well meaning show up vibrantly under here over this base and I'm going to bring this down further than I normally do because I am going to blow out my lower lash line with shadow later I'm going to edit out doing the other side for the yellow we're going to take this shade here which is water slide and we're going to use this is what is this this is an Esom T37 brush and we're going to put that here we're going to use the tip of the brush tap that off and we're going to put that here we're going to take a MOTD standout sweep brush it says and we're going to go into theme park this is the same palette this is still Ace Beauté nostalgia palette and that's going to go next to that yellow I do think this is my first time using this brush and so that's just going to go here that is turning turquoisey on me. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if it has a yellow base, which is making the green look bluish, or if it's my undertone that's making it look that way. I'm going to go back to that first brush, pull that over to blend. I want the colors to remain distinct, which means not a lot of blending will be done, but I also don't want it to look too harsh. But then with a the flag, it is harsh. <laughs> this is a box of color lined up. So this may be okay. We're going to go into Vintage Dawn and use this shade here, which is Sky and an MOTD Miss Shady Lady brush, it says. This brush is nice. I mean, it placed it really nicely. We're going to take the brush with the green and sweep that over. I do realize I'm missing shadow right here. I do realize that. I'm hoping that will be covered up with eyeliner. And if not, you know what, we'll fix that right now. So we're going into the green with, this is the Esom T03 brush. Oh, that was the other palette. And we're gonna take that and just put some green right there. Back to the Nostalgia palette, Carnival, this purple here, and we're gonna use the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And of course, that's going to go, ooh, oh, okay, um, hmm, let me put some of this over here. <laughs> I did not expect that. I did use this brush before. It's been a long time. I just love a rap song. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope rhyme to step to Eric B. and Rakim's song. For those of you who like old school rap music. I'm going to come back over here and fix this. <laughs> oh! Ooh, girl. I didn't mean to troll it up already. I'm going to take the brush with the blue. I know I said that funny. I heard myself and I'm like, what am I saying? Like, what the hell? For the orange, we're going to take Vacation, this shade here from the Nostalgia Palette, and a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. That's going to go on the first half of our transition area um hmm okay it is showing up i'm going to take the brush that had the yellow on it not adding any more shadow excuse me for that because i like this until i put this orange right here i'm going to tap into that yellow not that the yellow will cover the orange I might turn it a different color okay we're going to take a clean makeup geek defined crease brush and we're going to go into raspberry that's going to serve as our red and that's going to go here we're going to take the brush with the orange and we're just going to lightly just blend in between those two shades i'm not liking the shape of this over here 
going back with the brush with the orange. I was going to use Picnic as the hot pink, but I think that'll be too bright up here. So we're just going to take Flower, the shade here, and this is an MOTD Come Through Contour Brush. And we're just going to brush this under our brow bone. And just to buff out, we're going to bring this down like an outer V type situation. I am not liking the shape of this at all. I think I'm going to end up going back with that purple to do something with that over there. I did not add any shadow on this brush. This is the brush we use for the purple. We are going into it now. We tapped in. And we're going to sweep this actually right here. I'm not liking that shape at all. I'm going to take the brush that had flower on it and we're just going to just feather inward and come down. This is the Isum V31. We're going to, we took the yellow already under our lower lash line. So we're going in with the green. I should just use different eyeliners because I do have like almost all the colors, but let's be difficult. We're going to brush that off, go into the blue, put that here, wiping that brush off, going into the purple, putting that brush down, going into the brush that had the pink which is now mixed with purple, so we're not going to use that one. We're going to take a clean brush. This is the LaRouche Shadow Brush LR110. And we're going to go into that pink shade flower. And we are going to put that here. We're going to take a Nyx Retractable Eyeliner Aqua Green. This is going to go on our lower waterline. Fancy fly liner and because I'm black. What else are we gonna do? Mascara, Charlotte Silvery, Pillow Talk, upper and bottom lashes. I'm gonna edit this out. We're gonna wipe off some trash stick. I'm gonna do all the things with the lips today. NYX <sighs> Suede Matte Lip Liner in Alien, which is black. For the center of our lip, Scott Barnes Shanghai. That's right here. Oh, I like this. I almost forgot blush. How did I forget blush? And it's sitting right here. Colored rain, baby. <laughs> so we're going to do spicy. This shade. Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush, number 56. Ugh, gentle. Be gentle. Be light-handed. I'm going to take a clean one, and we're going to go into Butterfly Hi Mimi. That's this one. Tapping as lightly as I know how. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm digging it. The Danessa Myricks Mini Light Work Volume 3 infinite light palette and we're going to take strawberry moon this one this is a LaRouche LR304 angle brush and we are just pressing in tapping off and we're going to put that right here we're going to put that brush down we're going to take a BH cosmetics which way do the letters go angled contour brush and we're going to go into blue moon which to me is like a lavenderish kind of so we're pressing in and we're going to tap off and we're going to put that here. Ooh, I like that. I think that's all we're going to do for our face today. So this is going to be my pride look. Let me know what you think and you will see me in the next video.